Okay, now we're going to solve some quadratic equations and some a linear equation just at the end. So let's take a look at this first one here. Well, it's all set up. That's a quadratic equation, and it's in standard form, so we can just get to it and factor it. x times x is x squared. 3 times 2 gives me 6, and negative 3 times 2 gives me negative 6. And the, outs, the inside and the outside, they combine to equal this minus x. Look, minus 3x plus 2x. In these simple ones, they have to multiply to equal the number on the end, and they have to add up to equal the number in front of the linear term. And that's it. Now, what are the two things that would make this equal to 0? Well, if x minus 3 was 0, then that means x would have to be 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. Or if x plus 2 is 0. So minus 2 is a solution to this um, quadratic equation as well. There's your two solutions. There, and solutions to quadratic equations come in pairs. And that's the way it works. Let's take a look at this one. Well, x times x, that looks pretty quadratic. That's x squared. So we've got to multiply it out and then bring this 20 over. Because to factor a quadratic equation, it's got to be in standard form like this, ax squared plus bx plus c. Well, there it is, 15x squared minus 30, 13x minus 20. Now, this is pretty a, a lot harder one to factor. But I'm looking at the way these numbers are balanced, and it's either 15 or 1. But what's 15? It's 5 times 3. So I'm just going to try 5x times 3x. Now, what are the things that multiply to equal 20? That's your choices to, be, to put here. Well, I know 5 times 20 is, and I just looked at this. Oh, 5 times 5, that's 25, and 4 times 3 is 12, and 25 minus 12 is minus 13. So I, but the negative's got to win. It's got to be negative 13x. So I go minus 5 times 5x is negative, plus 4 times 3x is negative 13x. So the outside and the inside combine. There's my two answers. Now, I go 5x plus 4 equals 0, and I solve that equation. I could subtract 4 and then divide by 5. It always works. It's this number over this number and change the sign. So it's 5 over 3. And instead of negative, it's positive. There's your two fraction solutions to this quadratic equa uh, equation. Um, you, can, you could write 3x minus 5 equals 0 and solve it in steps, but it always works. It's this um, number over the number in front of x and change the sign. It's just a quick way to come up with the answer each time. Now this one, I don't think any x's are, are multiplied together, so it's just a linear equation. Let's just multiply it out. And what do we get? Oh, you know, I don't like this half. I don't like this half here, so I'm going to get rid of it by multiplying this side by 2. Half times 2 is 1. And 2 times 3 is 6. I like to get rid of the fractions. That's There's more than one way to do that, but that's my way. I like it that way. Then I get 12x minus 36. I take away x from both sides. I get 11x. I add 36 to both sides, and I get 37. Now I have to do the opposite of multiplying by 11. I've got to divide by 11. And this last question is a nasty little fraction, 37 over 11.